Each night I go into each child's bedroom and I will take their laundry basket while they're cleaning up their bedroom and I'm visiting with them. I just stand there and I sort the laundry into like three piles. I'll do the darks and then I'll do the lights and I just kind of sort through to see what they have for laundry. Now I can see those are all lights and then I've got darks here. All right, so now I've got this laundry basket and I'm looking, it looks like I need to do the darks. That's my biggest pile. So what I'll do is I'll leave that pile out. This is the smallest pile of the lights. I'll put that back in the basket and I'll put this back in the basket. Then I'll go into the next child's room and take that laundry basket and sort through it. Once again, the darks, the whites, maybe the lights, and do that and I'll think, okay, I'm doing darks over here, so I'll grab my pile of darks from here, carry it along with me into the other room, and put it in the wash machine. How do I know what category to sort the clothes into? Do I put them in whites, lights, or darks? Why yeah. do you sort them in colors, Mom? <laughs> why do I sort them in colors? In well, different. Why you sort them in different piles, the light and the whites and the dark, is because you want it, most of the time I put Clorox in with my whites because they get very dingy and you want those to be bright. So I want to put Clorox in. I will not put Clorox in with my light clothes or my dark clothes. That's why I want to do the lights, whites separate. Now the lights and the darks you want to keep separate from anything, the darks from anything else because they will bleed. If you put a white t-shirt in with dark jeans, that shirt will turn almost a really weird dingy color. So you have to separate your clothes and and that type of thing. Also, it, you can, some of the clothes can cause fuzz, like you'll have a white t-shirt and have colored fuzz, fuzzy little nubby things on it and that type of thing. So you've got to sort. Now, you don't have to get really paranoid about this because like this here shirt has both light and dark on it. So I know that it's probably color fast. Usually when I get my clothes and they have darker colors, I'll wash them separate the first time just to see how they act in the laundry. If there's color in the water, then I know that they bleed. If, if I don't, then if there's nothing in the water, then I know they're probably safe. This one I could probably do with the lights or the darks, either ones, and I'll be safe. But Wait a the, minute, what is color fast? what is color fast. In other words, the colors don't bleed out on, into the water or onto other, other colors. <laughs> do you have any more questions, daughter, over there? <laughs> Let me teach you how to do the laundry after how many years. But this one now, I know it's polyester and it probably won't bleed the colors. So I'll probably, I could almost put it this in either or. If I had a I need a little bit more to add to my light clothes pile then I would take this and put it in or if I had a small load of darks I could throw this in with it so this top could go either or you whether as long as you're not putting bleach in it you don't have to be too too fussy over it um, you just might check those couple of things out now these are white well this here's a white sock with both on it I don't like, I try to be careful. The socks I know I'm gonna to have to bleach because they're so dirty. So I try to stay away from too much color on my socks. But this one, it's safe, it's a sock. It's gonna be in the shoe most of the time. I would just toss it in with the whites because I would rather see this color a little bit faded and this white and clean than to see the sock looking dingy with the bright color on the toes. So this would go in with the whites because there's not enough color on it to matter. This one here, this could again go with either or. I would probably put this sock in with the light colored stuff uh, because this isn't the part that's dingy or dirt, that dirty because it's not the bottom of the sock. So you can just do whichever, you know, on some of these things you can just make it a judgment call on your, on, of your own. And now I don't know how to end this. <laughs> All these tips and more are in our Keeping It Clean ebook series. So check in the description below and you can get more information. Lots more information, yeah.